Okay, I am setting up my screen. Okay, all right. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class, yeah. Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. One more time, if you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. All right, all right, I see some yeses there. Thank you, Sleepwalker. Thank you, Lolly. Hello, everyone. All right, the green team is here. They are strong in the house, yes. I see Miley, hi Miley. Tetsuro, hello Tetsuro. Lolly, hello. Marion, hello. Candy, hello. Great, great, great. Sleepwalkers here, all right. Tomas is here, fantastic. All right, all right. I also, oh, Jocko. Hello Jocko, all right, all right. Jocko is here too. And we have Diana, hello Diana. We have Helga, hello Helga. Great, great, we have TT, we have Samuel. Okay, I'm very happy to see everyone. Of course, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you everyone. Mitra, hello, Ella, hello. Okay, great, great, great. Well, you know what we always, oh, Fabricio's in the house. All right, Fabricio, thank you for being here with me and everyone. Okay. Well, you know what we do for good luck. Yes, we have a toast for good luck. So let's do our toast for good luck. So please pick up your beverage, whatever you're drinking, pick it up for our toast. Yes, we will have two toasts. One toast, our first toast will be for the green team and then our second toast will be for you, all right? So let's have our first toast and that is for the members, yes, the green team. You see them, their names are in green. They support me, they support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Cheers, green team. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers, yes. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Ah, okay, great. Now for our second toast. Yes, it's for you. You are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. That's right. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's give a toast to you. Let's have a toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and wonderful lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. Yes, and because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Ah. Okay, great, great, great. Now, for today's lesson plan, it is right here on this sheet of paper. We are going to do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five activities, everyone. Five activities. And the activities are form a sentence, make a sentence. You're going to make a sentence, yes, based on a pattern you are going to make a sentence based on a pattern. Then we will do which and what. I will ask you which, uh, I will ask you a which question and I will ask you a what question. Then we will, I will um, ask you some questions and you answer those questions. You will answer the question. Then we will do dictation cards and then we will do Lolly's Revenge. So we're gonna be very busy today. We're gonna to be here for two hours. So I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are ready. I hope you are ready to practice your English with me. And of course, in the chat. Yes, lots of great learning happens in the chat. You can see many, many examples. You will see many, many sentences. And there you will learn a lot. So um, let's, Learn together, shall we? Let's practice together, shall we? Okay, good, good, good. Oh, I'm looking down now at the chat and someone said, hello, Sewu. So, hey, Sewu's in the house. Hey, Sewu, hello, hello. Good to see you. Sonara's here, all right. People are coming in. Hello, Sonara, yay. Thank you, thank you for being here. Okay, great. 
Well, let's get right to it, shall we? Yes, let's do it. All right, so our first activity is form a sentence. Hello, Sarah. Let's form a sentence. This is our first activity. This is one, and it is called form a sentence. So basically, make a sentence. All right, so we today we have how many cards? Let's see, we have one, two, three, four. We have five cards that will make the pattern, all right? So these five cards will form a sentence, will form a pattern, and I want you to use this pattern to practice making sentences. So like I said, we have five cards, so I'm gonna put five spaces. So here's space one, space two, space three, space four, and space four. Five, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five spaces for five cards. And because there are five spaces, we need five magnets. So my magnets are right over there. So I'm gonna just come over here, pick up one, two, three, four, five. I got five magnets and they're colorful, of course. Here we go, there's one, there's two, there is three, there is four, and there is five. Five magnets for five cards. Five magnets for five cards. Now, on each card, there will be a picture, and I want you to guess the meaning. I want you to guess the meaning from the picture. I don't wanna just tell you the, the pattern straight off. I want you to um, think about it. I want you to, let's play a game. I want you to play a game with me, all right? so. This is the, let's see, this is the card guessing pattern game. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here is our first card. And here we go. What does this picture represent? Hey, Maya's here. Hello, Maya. Big kiss for you. Mwah. That's a kiss for you, Maya. What? Does, oh, Helga. Yeah, Dua. Hello, Dua. Oh, say with love. Yeah, she loves that. Her book. Yeah. Lolly says love. Okay. Those are good guesses. Let's see. My, or, um, Fabricio, my, Marion, my. Hello, I can't read Russian. Jocko. Yeah, Lolly. Yeah, that, that's, that, Umesh. Yep. It is my, my. Okay, good, good, good. So my. So our, we're gonna start our pattern with my. We are starting our pattern with my. Okay, so my plus, and then we're gonna have another. And let's see, can you guess what this means? Here we go, card number two. What? So we have a person, place, or thing. What, it, what is that? What is a person, place, or thing? What is it? Yeah, good. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. That's right. You got it. It's actually a noun. So it's a noun. So, so we're going to, our next spot, you can either put a, uh, a person, place, or, well, we're not, it's a noun, okay, so we're gonna put noun here. Okay, now for our third card, and here, okay, now this one, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't think of a picture, so here we go, this is our next card, it's not, it's not a guess, it's just, um, is or are, depending on if it's singular or plural, okay? So it's not a hint this time, sorry. So our next sp spot, our next position in the pattern is or are, depending, depending if we are using a singular noun or plural noun. Okay, here we go. Uh, card number four. And what does this 
picture represent? What does this picture represent? No, Lolly. It's not place. Yeah, Helga, Tetsuro. Yeah, yeah, okay, Marion, Maya, yep, so on, okay, on. So our next spot, our next spot in the pattern is on. Okay, here we go, here's the last. So, so far we have my, and then a noun, is, are, depending on if this is a singular or plural, on, and then our last, card for our last position in the pattern is, we've seen this card before. You have seen this card before. Yeah, Lolly, you got it. That's right. So it's a place. Okay, place or position. Well, no, this is the position. So, yeah, a place. Okay. And here we go. Okay, so this is now our pattern, which I want you to make sentences. All right. So, this is the pattern, and we're going to make sentences using this pattern. All right. So, for example, my, and then a thing. Let's, let's use things. Okay. So let, let's do, let's do things. Okay, let's do a thing. Okay, so my thing is, or, or, you know, things. It could be thing or things, okay? So my thing or things is our on and then place. Oh, on the floor. That works. Yeah. Okay. On the floor. I like that. I like that. Like, oh no, my books are on the floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Let's do that. My books are, because books are plural, so we need are. My books are on, and then place the floor. Okay, so for example, my books are on the floor, okay? So let's see your sentences. Let's see your sentences. I'm, I'm going to change my computer a little bit here, position, so I can, I can see your sentences and I won't block the pattern. So I, let me move it around a little bit. Okay, now I can see fine. Okay, Lolly says, my cup of tea is on the table near the bottle of milk, says Lolly. Very good. Tomas, my phone is on the table, Samuel. My laptop is on the desk. Maitra, my books are on the table. Tetsuro, my <coughs> sorry, Tetsuro, my PC is on the table. My smartphone is on the desk, Sleepwalker. My chocolate is on the table. Helga, my cup of tea is on the table. Let's see, Tomas, my book is on the shelf. Very good, Marion, my keys are on the table. Perhaps, I, what I'm thinking, you guys are actually, that's true, right? I'm thinking that you guys are writing true sentences, right? So. We can just look around. So I'm looking right there, and I can say, my coffee mug is on the table, or yeah, on the desk here. Very good, everybody. I can also look, I'm um, looking over there. Over there, you can't see, but I have another table over there. And um, my coffee pot is on the table. Let's see, over there, I have another, I have a counter over there, and I can say, oh, my notebooks are on the counter. Yeah, I have another table over there. I have, I have a lot of tables here. 
<laughs> I have, I'm going to count my tables. I, and I, I have small tables and large tables where I put books and things, you know, this is my office here. And I'm counting the tables. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine. Oh, another over there. I got a, a bookshelf. Ten. I got, I got lots of shelves. I have lots of places to keep uh, paper, to keep books, to keep cards, mostly books. Yeah, lots of books. I have lots of books around me right now. Okay, so I see maybe lots of you are writing sentences that are true, where you're just looking and you're looking around your house or wherever you are, and you can write sentences based on what you see. I think that's really great. Okay, let's see. Irene says, oh, the... the, the Chat is moving very quickly right now. Okay, Sleepwalker, my clothes are on the shelf. Good, Saima. My pen is on the table. Umesh, my horse is running on the road. Oh, mo. Oh, boy. I don't know if that is um, good. Okay, Mean, uh, my cup is on the table. Sleepwalker, my footprints are on the snow. It's snowing, Sleepwalker? It's snowing already? I guess so. November, and you're in... You're in uh, Russia or Ukraine. I always, ah, I always get, I'm, I'm wrong. It's sleepwalker. You're either in Russia or you're in the Ukraine. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Sonara, my car is on the bridge. Oh boy, I hope it's moving. I hope it's not stuck on the bridge. Helga, my keys are on the shelf. My trap, my car is parked on the bridge. Parked on the bridge. Is that okay? Fabrizio, my food is on the stove. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Saima, my glasses are on the table. Very good. My glasses are on my head. <laughs> Candy, my teddy bear is on the bed. Umesh, my magnets are on the floor. Oh, your magnets on the floor. That's not good. Tetsuro, my sunglasses are on a box. Irene, my pencil case is on the table, Mitra. My keys are on the hook next to the door. All your sentences are, are nice sentences, everyone. Lots of great examples. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Marion says, my friends are on the bridge. Wait, we have a car parked on the bridge. We have friends on the bridge. Wow, must be a big bridge. <laughs> Fabricio, my bird is on the roof. Danielle says, the library is on the place. Min, the phone is on the bed. Or you could say, my phone. So we want to start with my in this pattern. My, my, my. It belongs to me. It's mine. My. All right, Sleepwalker, my fingers are on the keyboard. Yes, yeah, that's a good place for your fingers, on the keyboard. Michelle, hello. Sleepwalker, no, no, just an example, but soon we will see snow here. Okay, good, 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 good. It, it's still not cold here in Japan. It's still not too cold in Japan. Okay, you know what? I see, hey, Marcos is here. Hey, Marcos, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Marcos says, my cats are on the sofa. Yes, cats like to be on the sofa. Seiru says, my graduation... Photo is on the wall. Very good, Seiru. I'm sure your mother and father are very happy for you. They're very proud of you, no doubt, Seiru. That's why your graduation picture is on the wall, because your family is very happy that you did it. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, well, let's go to our second activity, shall we? Let's go to... Activity number two. Umesh says, my clothes are on the chair. Usually I put my jacket on the chair or a sweater on the chair. I do that too. Me too. Okay, let's go to activity number two, which is which what sentence questions. Okay, so we're going to do number two, which what, which what, which what. Number two here. So we're going to do, first we'll do a which Sentence, question, which. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? 
I'm going to read you a question, and I want you to answer, please. Here we go. Which? Which is better, a swing or a bench? Which is better, a swing or a bench? Y yes, that's well. Actually, possessive pronoun be mine. So my is just is just um, just a pronoun. So possessive pronoun would be mine, Tomas. Or hmm, what? What? Let's see. I mine. I believe is the possessive pronoun. Hold on a second. I guess they're both, yeah. I just I just looked it up. Determiner, possessive determiner. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Good. Good. Um, Tomas. Okay. Here we go. Which? Which is better, a swing or a bench? Which is better? A swing or a bench. Okay, Lolly says, a bench because more than one person can sit down. Very good. Okay, both are better. No, 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 you can't do that. Which one? We're, we're, we're comparing two things, and I want you to tell me which one you think is better. Sleep Parker says, a swing is better because you have options. Just sit or swing. Oh, very good answer, Sleepwalker. I like that. Umesh, a swing is better because we can swing backward and forward. Good. Sebu says, a swing is better because it makes me sleep easily. Very good. Yes, Dua, here is the card. Which is better, a swing or a bench? So what's your opinion? Which one do you think is better? Which is better, a swing or a bench? Okay, very good. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this on the board. Okay. Which, which is better, a swing or a bench? Let's see. Fabricio says, a bench because it's safer. Okay, so... Um, Fabricio, we don't say more safe, we say safer. A bench because it is safer. Helga, a bench is better because it, it is, okay, it stays still. So we don't need, Helga, we don't need is, okay? Helga, a bench is better because it stays still. Okay, Jocko, a swing is better because I feel like I'm a child. Good, good. Sleepwalker, a swing is better because it, it reminds me, it reminds me about my childhood. A swing is better because it reminds me of my childhood. My, a bench, because it's more comfortable than a swing. It's more comfortable than a swing. Karen, which is better because you have... Um, Change choice. Uh, I'm not sure, Karen. I'm not sure what you what you mean. So, can one more time? Can you can you write your sentence one more time, Karen? Okay, Tomas says a bench is better for me because I get dizzy on a swing. Okay, Tomas, I get dizzy. I get dizzy on a swing. Or yeah, Irene says a bench is better. Hold on, hold on. It's going fast. Okay, Irene, a bench is better for me because I feel more comfortable. I feel more comfortable. Okay, I think a swing. Why do you think a swing? Okay, Sleepwalker, on a swing, you can swing and dream easily. I like that. Tetsuro, a bench because it is stable so you can relax better than a swing. Seiru, Swing is better. It's not boring. Fabricio, good. A bench because it is safer. Good. 
Do a swing is better because I can play on it. Ah, stays still. Yes, Helga, good. Umesh, a swing is hanging from a support so we can sway side to side. Yes, that's what a swing is. Okay, bench is better because you won't fall off. A swing is not safer. You may fall off. Very good. Sleepwalker, a swing is better because it reminds me about my childhood. Yes, perfect. Okay, dang, a bench is better because I can lay down on it. See, lots of great answers here. A swing is better because it's interesting. Good, good, good. Samuel, a swing is better because it's more enjoyable and fun. It's more enjoyable and fun. Marcos, a bench is better because I can lay on it. Good. Helga, a bench is better because it has a back. Okay, see, lots and lots of great answers here. Lots of great examples for you to learn. Sonara, a bench because I could read. A book. Yes, Sonara. A bench is better because I can read a book. Good. Get dizzy. That's right, Tomas. Okay, swing is better because I like it. <laughs> Tetsuro, a swing because it's more pleasant than a bench. Marion, a swing because it makes my dream beautiful. Michelle, when, when will I understand the teacher's English? I don't know. <laughs> Michelle, you should ask other people. Maybe they have the same experience, Michelle. So why don't you ask the other people in the chat? I guess, okay, everyone, you can answer Michelle's question. Fabricio, you can sleep on a bench easily, but, in, but on a swing, you could fall to the ground when you sleep. Be careful. Yeah, don't sleep on a swing. That... I think that would be difficult, Fabricio. I think sleeping on a swing would be difficult. Oh, here we go, Sewu. Sewu's smart. Sewu says, a swing is better because you can burn calories. Yes, on a swing, you can burn calories. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Oh, a swing is more romantic than a bench. I like it, I like it. A swing is more romantic than a bench. I like that one. A swing is better because it's usually located in a nice place. Oh, I like it. I like it. Yeah, under a tree, you know, in a park. So yeah, that's very observant of you, Sleepwalker. Actually, I was at the park last week and, um, <coughs> sorry, and I went on a swing. I went on a swing just last week and I enjoyed it. I enjoy I enjoy swinging on a swing. I enjoy swinging on a swing. Okay, Fabricio. Fabricio is always fixing his sentences. So Fabricio is learning very quickly because um, if he ever makes a mistake, he's always fixing his mistakes. So um, more power to you, Fabricio. More power to you. Okay. You can sleep on a bench easily, but on a swing, you could fall to the ground when you fall asleep. Okay, so this is kind of, this is a little tricky sentence here, Fabricio. You can, you can sleep on a bench easily, but on a swing, you could fall to the ground when you fall asleep. You could fall to the ground. So, direction, right? So to is direction. I'm going to the park, right? I'm going in the direction. I'm going to the store. Okay. Okay. Fall to the ground, right? So I'm on the swing. I'm sleeping on the swing. I fall to the ground because I fell asleep on the swing. I, I fell to the ground because I fell asleep on the swing. <laughs> One more time. That's interesting. I, I, First time I've said this sentence, I fell to the ground because I fell asleep on the swing. I fell to the ground because I fell asleep on the swing. Okay, a I like a hammock. Me too, Seiru. I like a hammock. 
They are very comfortable, very comfortable. Marco says, I swing sometimes. Uh, okay, a swing, sorry, Marcos. A swing sometimes makes me feel dizzy. That's why I'd rather sit on a bench. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So uh, a bench, I think a bench is better, but sometimes a swing can be fun, right? So of course a bench is better, but uh, it's nice to go on a swing sometimes. To the ground. That's right, Fabricio, to the ground. Okay, Sleepwalker, some people swing so dangerous they even can do 360 circles on a swing. Yeah, the kids can do, right? And so the kids do the, the so the, the swing is, there's chain, right? And then they twist the chain and then they let go and then they, they spin back around. They stand on a swing. Their um, kids like danger. Yes, kids like danger. Kids are always looking for danger. Okay, good. Let's do our next card, what? Let's do what? What? Okay, here we go. Our what question. Let's do our what. Here we go. All right, what? Here we go. Tomas says, what about circle swing? Is it the worst in my humble <laughs> circle swing? Oh, I know what you're talking about, Tomas. Yeah, they have those at amusement parks. It, it, the swing goes around and around. That's, it's a ride. It's a ride at an amusement park. I, they have those in Japan. They have some ones you go super high in the air. So you sit on a swing. And then it goes around and around, and it starts going up and up and up and up. And you are way off the ground, swinging in a circle, in a circular motion, in a circular motion. And that's very scary, for sure. Okay, here we go. What? <clears throat> What's the difference between darts and bats? What's the difference? between darts and bats. What's the difference between darts and bats? Not a roller coaster. It's, it's, a, it's a swing. It, it's, it, it kind of, so it's like, this and then there's this right let's see let's see let's see I want to go like this maybe okay and and then there's no 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 we want to go like this okay and so right here there are swings attached So we have swings attached. Yeah, and all of a sudden, this moves. This thing moves. And it makes everyone go in circles, and then, and then it moves up and down. So you start here on the bottom, and it's swinging around. And so you're sitting here, like this. So, all these people are sitting like this. And you're going around and around. And it's going shoo, shoo. And so you're going around like that. And so, um, yeah, so they have these here in Japan. My kids always do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, What's the difference between darts and bats? Okay, not that kind of bat, Lolly. Not that kind of bat. Okay, I'm going to show you the picture. Darts and bats. Darts and bats.
Okay, here we go. Darts and bats. What's the difference between darts and bats? So these are for baseball, baseball bats. What's the difference between darts and bats? <laughs> oh, thank you, Dua. You like my, my swing? What's the difference between darts and bats? Okay, what's the difference between darts and bats? Okay, Ume says darts are thrown to a target or on, on a target. Okay, on a target we can say, yeah, okay, Umesh. Darts are thrown on a target, good. Helga, if you throw a bat, um, it will be more sensitive, or like uh, more painful, maybe, or if you throw a bat, maybe you will get kicked out of the game, right? So you can't throw bats in a game. Okay, Sleepwalker, in, in darts, in a dart game, Arrows are light, but difficult to direct at the target. Yeah. Okay, Marco says, bats are made of wood, and darts can be made of wood and a needle. Good, Marcos. Yeah. Yeah. So right here, these are like needles, and, and bats are wood, made of wood. Okay, yeah, good. Darts and bats. Yeah, that's right. Bat, um, well, actually, bats are used in baseball, and baseball is an American sport, and um, bats are equipment for playing baseball. So bats are equipment for playing baseball. You need a bat to play baseball, right? Because a bat is going to hit the ball, and if you hit the ball, and if it stays in the field, you run to the base. So you, you hit a ball and run. You hit a ball and run. That is baseball. Yeah, darts have pins. Good, Helga. Bats are heavy, says Sleepwalker. That's true. They're heavy. Tetsuro, um, bats are much bigger than darts. Good, Tetsuro. Ah, Umesh, bats are longer. Yes, that's very true. Seiwu says, darts, you can play darts in your room. That's right, that's right, Seiwu. So darts can be played indoors. Where baseball, using bats, you do it outdoors. That's right, Seiwu. Tama says, bats usable as a weapon. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, Kori, how are you doing, Kori? Mwah, Kori? Kori is here. Fabrizio, bats are used in baseball games and darts are used to play cricket. Don't change them. No, darts are not cricket. No, 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 Fabrizio. Darts, we use darts for a dartboard. They're, they're a, um, like a sport hobby. It's kind of, you know, it's a skill game. It's a skill game. So you have dartboard is like this. And there's numbers. And you, you throw, and there'd be numbers, like let's say 20, uh, 5, 7. So there's numbers. And so you try to hit the, the target, the bullseye. OK. 
Okay. Let's see, Sleepwalker, when you play darts, you need to have good eyesight. Yes, you do, because you have to throw the dart in that little target, in the little bullseye right there. And so, yeah, so you need, you need to have good eyesight and throw that dart right in the center. Let's see, Sleepwalker, uh, dart, dart arrows you can put in the pocket, but not bats. Oh, okay, so arrows, we don't say arrows, just darts, okay, Sleepwalker? All right, so darts you can put in your pocket. That's right, so you can put your darts here, so I have a pocket here. And let's say, for example, my pencil, let's say that's a, a dart, right? And so, oh, I could put the dart in my pocket, that's right. And then when you're ready, you throw it. Yeah. Good. Jocko. Darts are also available in narrow places. It's not dangerous. A bat can break glass. Yes, Jocko. That's right. This is called a bullseye. Bullseye. Right in the center is bullseye. That's right, Tomas. Karen says... Darts you throw and bats you send or hit the ball. Yes, good Karen. So darts you throw, you throw darts, and bats actually you swing. Okay, Karen? You swing a bat. So good, good. I like it, Karen. So darts you throw, bats you swing. Darts you throw, bats you swing. And, and maybe the crowd say, um, batter, batter, swing. <laughs> so like, because if you swing at the wrong timing, you miss the ball, right? And then you get a strike. So people who are watching the game and they want the other team to lose. And so they yell out, batter, 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 swing. And so <laughs> they, want, they want the batter to swing at the wrong time. Okay. Let's see, Marion, uh, the dark game is precision and the bat game is strength and speed. Okay, okay, Marion, yeah, baseball players, they're very, like today's baseball players are very strong and they have like a, a you know, they use power, they use strength to hit the ball, for sure. Irene says, I play bats on the baseball field and I shoot darts on the playground. Okay, we don't say play bats, Irene. We say, I play baseball with, okay, so bats are used in baseball, but darts are the name of the game. So it's a little different, Irene. So bats are used in baseball. And so the game is called baseball, but darts, that's the name of the game. So you can do this, Irene. I play baseball, on a field and I throw darts on a playground. You can do that. I throw darts on a playground. Uh, dang, you can play darts alone without teammates. I like that, dang. That's good. That is very true. You just practice by yourself. You can throw darts by yourself. Yes. The, okay, the difference is that we can't play baseball with a dart and vice versa, that's right. <laughs> they are separate. You can't use darts in baseball and you can't use bats in darts. That is very true. <laughs> I like it. Fabrizio, you don't need to run when you play darts. That's right, Fabrizio. You don't need to run, to run when you play with darts. You don't need to run when you play with darts. Dart is a game for lazy people. Ah, oh, no, don't say that. Darts, like, it's a, it's a fun game if you're, like, at a bar, at a pub, you're, you're with friends, you're having beer, and you're, you're playing darts and talking. So, so it's a social game, right? So I think darts is more of a social game, right? It, you play with um, a few friends, you're having beers at the pub, you're talking and throwing darts. So I think darts is a social game. 
Okay, good, good, good. Let's see. Um, Jocko, darts have many designs. Good, Jocko. Yep, darts have many designs. That's very true. Okay, Fabrizio, you don't need to run when you play with darts. Perfect, perfect. Okay, well done, everyone. Let's put this up here. Let's go to our next activity, shall we? Let's go to number three. Let's go to number three. I have to erase this part right here. Let's see, answer the question. That's our next activity. I'm gonna go ahead and erase. These pictures aren't important. I always take a, whoa, I always take a picture of the whiteboard so you can check it out anytime you want to, yeah? So, We'll do one more activity before I erase everything. Okay, number three. Okay, number three is answer the question. Yes, answer the question. Answer the question. Okay, good, good, good. And here we go. Here are the question cards. Please answer the question. Here we go. Question number one. You look great. What have you been doing? <clears throat> you look great. What have you been doing? You look great. What have you been doing? Mm. Darts are sharp object, objects. You must be always aware of darts. Bats are so... Okay, darts are hard objects. When you misuse them, you can hurt someone. Both are dangerous objects. We must always be aware of those two objects. Yes, I like it, I like it. There is darts... World Championship. Yes, there are. I sometimes see that on TV. You're welcome, Fabricio. I sometimes see them play darts on TV. I'll watch it. Okay. Um, both of them are dangerous if you hit someone by with them. That's right, Dua. Both of them are dangerous if you hit someone with them. With them. Okay. Baseball is more popular than darts. I, I agree. Okay. I have been taking a bath. Okay. Our question. You look great. What have you been doing? You look great. What have you been doing? Sleepwalker says, I have been taking a bath. Do a, uh, I make, oh, I, I got a new haircut. Dua, I got a new haircut. Lolly, I have been jogging in the morning. Good, good, good. I have been doing sports. I've been getting enough sleep. I've been getting enough sleep. Fabricio, I have been working out every day. Lolly, I have been doing my nails. Nails. Nails, N, yes, yeah, yeah, I've been doing my nails. Okay, yeah, Lolly, nails. Okay, Tetsu, I've been taking a walk. I got a new hairstyle, says Tomas. I am doing exercises every day. Lolly, I have been washing my hair. Maya, I've been working out. I have been jogging. I have been hiking. Uh, I lost a, a few pounds. Okay, Tomas, I have lost a few pounds. I have lost a few pounds, Tomas. Marcos, I've been changing my food habits, says Marcos. I've been changing my food habits. Fabricio, I've been taking a shower. Helga, I don't pay attention to negative things. Good, that's a good attitude. Good for your mind, good for your head. Sleepwalker, I have been sunbathing, got a nice tan. Your skin looks nice and tan. Seiru, I have been dieting successfully. Diet is the best plastic surgery. <laughs> Chaco, I got a massage today. Tetsu, 
I have been patting cats. <laughs> Do a, uh, yeah. Ah, my child, I have been cooking. Lolly says, I have been cleaning my bedroom for two hours. I just shaved, said Tomas. Fonda, I have been, oh, I have, I have, okay, Fonda, I have gotten um, a good sleep. I have been sleeping well. That, okay, I have been sleeping well. You look great. What have you been doing? You look great. What have you been doing? And I like that because sleep is very important, right? I like that. So I have been sleeping well. That, I think that's a great um, answer. I have been sleeping well. I have been sleeping well. Yeah, I think that's a great answer. I have been sleeping well. Good, 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 good. Okay, sleep, sleepwalker, I have been shopping. <laughs> I, have, I have eaten enough. All right, so Tomas is not hungry. He has eaten enough. Let's see, Marion, I shave every morning and massage my face. Yes. What's good about shaving using a razor is like you're you're taking off the old skin right so as you're shaving if you shave every day you take off the old skin so you're so you're always um, cleaning your skin you're taking off the old skin and so it's kind of a um, what's the exfoliate 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 so all you all the people who are who do spas and who do um, aesthetics, or I think, what is it, skin, skin therapy or aesthetics, um, you, you want to foliate, exfoliate, exfoliate your skin, exfoliate. So like, you know, brushes, like scrub your back, right? Scrub your body exfoliate get the old skin off and so by shaving right I shave my head <laughs> so I shave everything here and so I'm taking off the old skin so I still look young <laughs> oh, okay you look great what have you been doing oh I've been shaving my head <laughs> because it's good for my skin yes shaving my head is good for my skin you look great. What have you been doing? Yeah, renews the skin for sure. I have been breathing fresh air, says Sleepwalker. Fantastic. Okay, good everybody. Yeah, so, so everyone shave your face. Yeah, shave your head. <laughs> shave your head and your face to have Good skin, yeah, to have young skin. Shave your face and head. Okay, good. All right, I like it, I like it. Let's, um, I'm looking at the clock and I think it's good time to change our topic. And before we do our next topic, <laughs> come on, try it, Lolly. <laughs> Lolly says, I'll never shave my hair, no. So I have no choice. <laughs> um, Sonara says, I cut my hair and makeup. I, I, I'm wearing a new dress. Or I bought a new dress. How about this, Sonara? Uh, Sonara, I cut my hair and put on makeup and got a new dress. One more time, Sonara. I got a haircut. I put on makeup and got a new dress. I have been taking your English lessons. Oh, thank you so much. Mwah. I, I don't know your name. I don't know your name because I can't read Russian. Just body hair. <laughs> I don't shave any. I only shave from here up. <laughs> okay. Um, let me take a picture of the board so I can erase the board and we could do our next activity. Okay, so I need to get my camera. It's right over here. 
Uh, you can't see me, but you can hear me. And okay, so I'm going to open the camera. Wait, that's not the camera. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to open the camera, take a picture, and then I will erase the board. So right now you can't see me, but you can hear me. I'm taking a picture of the whiteboard. Here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got a picture. What I always do after I finish the live stream, I take, I upload the pictures from the whiteboard and put them on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so you could check out the whiteboards anytime you want to. Okay, so let's take these off so we can erase the board for our new activity, our next activity. And um, we always, on Fridays, we review the pattern, okay? So you can have, you, you can um, do this again on Friday to review, okay? Review is very important. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so the, everything's, the cards are off the table, off the board, so now I can erase. And I took a picture, so no problem. It's saved digitally. And I can, I will put it on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So you can check it out anytime you want to for review. Okay, so now we have a clean board. So let's go ahead and do our next activity. That is activity number four. And that will be our dictation cards. Dictation cards. So you need a pencil and paper. Pencil and paper. And our topic today is happen. Happen, happen, happen. Okay, so this is activity number four. And we're going to practice happen. And that means occur. Occur. Okay, occur, and we will do four steps. Step one, of course, is dictation. Step two is shadowing. Step three, on your own. And step four is a quiz. Okay, so we do these Right here, Lolly has her pencil and paper. That's good because that's the purpose of the activity, right? So you're going to listen and write. So in we're going to do lots of practice here. We're going to you're going to listen and write. So you're using listening skills and writing skills. Then we will shadow. So then you're using more listening skills and speaking speaking skills. Then you do it on your own, so you have to um, recall, you have to remember, you have to use your brain, you have to use your brain power, and then we will have a quiz, so even more brain power. So this is good for your brain, yes it is, brain exercise. <laughs> and um, like I said, the topic is happen, and that means like occur, right? So um, mm, Let's, so I can't think of some examples, right? Like, oh, what's happening? Like, what's occurring in your life, right? What's happening? What is occurring in your life, right? Okay, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cards. Okay, eight cards as always. Fabricio, I'm ready. Are you ready for this? Yes, I am, Fabricio. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's count down to, okay, Lolly, thank you. <laughs> Dictation, step one, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, card number one. Is this really happening or is this a dream? Is this really happening or 
Is this a dream? <laughs> okay, third time. Is this really happening or is this a dream? Okay, card number two. We didn't want this to happen. We didn't want this to happen. No, this is the third time, third time. We didn't want this to happen. Card number three. I can't see what's happening. I can't see what's happening. Sunshine is here. Oh, great. Sunshine. I like sunshine. I can't see what's happening. Number four. Please fill me in on what's been happening. Please fill me in on what's happening. <laughs> Hello, sunshine. Please fill me in on what's been happening. Okay, number five. Accidents like this happen all the time. Accidents like this happen all the time. Accidents like this happen all the time. Okay, number six. It happened a few minutes ago. It happened a few minutes ago. It happened a few minutes ago. Number seven, number seven. I wish it had never happened. I wish it had never happened. I wish it had never happened. Okay, last card. How on earth did this happen? How on her? How on earth did this happen? Third time. How on earth did this happen? Okay, that was dictation. Nicely done, everyone. Let's check it off. All right, it is done. It is now time for shadowing. It is now speaking practice. Not writing practice, but speaking practice. All right, here we go. 
two, shadow time, countdown, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Is this really happening or is this a dream? Is this really happening or is this a dream? Is this really happening or is this a dream? Yes, yes I do. Hold on, hold on, yes. Okay, is this really happening or is this a dream? Okay, good, good, good. Yes, yes I do. Please go into my, um, go to my channel and you can um, search for infinitives and I have a few videos on infinitives that will give you examples how to, you know, what they mean. Basically infinitives like to plus base verb, right? To go, to buy. And so infinitives usually like um, purpose, like I'm, I'm going to the park to play um, baseball, right? So there's a purpose to it. I'm, I'm calling to say hello, okay? So there's a purpose. So basically that's infinitive. To plus base verb, and there's a purpose to it. I'm going to the store to buy vegetables. Okay, here we go. Card number two. We didn't want this to happen. 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 Oh no, a busted pipe. This is going to be expensive to fix. We didn't want this to happen. Thank you, Tomas. Yeah, well actually, Tomas, to plus the base verb, right? To play, to call, to go, to shop. So base, the, the base verb. So there's no, there's no changing the verb. You don't put it past tense, ed, no future tense. No progressive tense, right? Just the, just the base verb. Okay, number three. I can't see. What's happening? I can't see. What's happening? I can't see. What's happening? You're welcome, Yaz. Please just go to my channel and, and um, search, put in uh, infinite verbs in my channel and you will see the, ver the, the videos. Okay, I can't see what's happening. I can't see what's happening. Please tell me what is occurring. What are they doing? What's happening? I can't see. Number four, please fill me in on what's been happening. Please fill me in on what's been happening. Please fill me in on what's been happening happening. Please fill me in on what's been happening. So this means like tell me about your life. Like we haven't seen each other for a long time. Long time no see. Fill me in. Tell me details. I want to know what you've been doing, how your life is. I want to hear everything. So fill me in. Give me details about your life. We haven't seen each other for a long time. Long time no see. Oh, thank you so much, um, Malika. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, number five. Accidents like this happen all the time. Accidents like this happen all the time. Accidents like this happen all the time. Thank you, Nof. Accidents like this happen all the time. Yeah, so it's a basic accident. People are always um, twisting their ankle, right? And or hurting your foot because we're walking all the time, right? We walk everywhere or run 
And so accidents like this, you know, you hurt your foot or your ankle, they happen all the time. Accidents like this happen all the time. So it's not unusual to hurt your ankle or to hurt your foot. Oh, uh, everyone give me, thank you, for every, thank you for your kind comments. I appreciate that. Thank you for your kind support. Okay, here we go. Happen all the time. Happens all the time. Like this happen all happens all. Like okay, this hap okay, accents like this happen all the time. Um th this is correct, Lolly. Um accents like this happen all the time. Um it happens all the time. You can say accents are you would say um, it happens all the time. So you're, so you would say it happens all the time, but we're using this, and so happen. This um, accents like this happen all the time. So accents like this happen all the time. It happens all the time. So you could do that. So it happens all the time. Accents like this happen all the time. Yeah, there, yeah, okay, good, thank you. <laughs> See, you guys can explain better than I can. Yes, good, thank you, Sleepwalker. Accidents happen, perfect, thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, number six. It happened a few minutes ago. 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 Oh boy, he died. It happened a few minutes ago. That's right, it's impossible to tell, predict the future, yes. The future, we will never know what will happen next. Accident happens. No, we, okay, Sleepwalker. Um, okay, this accident happens. You, okay, hold on, I'm getting confused now. I'm getting confused. Okay, um, here we go, number seven. Yeah, very sad. Thank you, Elena. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you for the kind support. I appreciate that. I really do. Okay, here we go. Number seven. I wish it had never happened. 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 Accidents. Yeah, okay, thank you, Maya. See, <laughs> like, uh, okay, yeah, okay, we got, we got some, we always have questions because we have very smart people here, and so we have people here who are, um, grammar enthusiasts. <laughs> so yeah, thank you, Maya. I knew there's a, okay, accidents. So happen is a verb, right? And so accidents like this happen. Thank you, Maya. See, there's always a, 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 an answer, right, Maya? You got the answer. <laughs> okay, here we go. Last card, everybody. Countdown to the last card. Five, four, yeah, Lolly, you're a grammarian, a grammarian. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. How on earth did this happen? 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 <laughs> I got you, Fabricio. 
How on earth did this happen? How did he become a zombie? How did that happen? How did that happen? Okay, good, good, good. All right, that was shadowing. Let's mark it off. We did it. Okay, here we go. On your own, on your own. So we're gonna do now is we're going to take turns, right? However, when it's your turn, I'm gonna cover the sentence. So you have to say it by only looking at the picture, all right? So say the sentence by only looking at the picture. So what you're doing is you're, you're using association, right? You're looking at the picture, and the picture is gonna help you remember. It's gonna give meaning, okay? So you're gonna associate the sentence with the picture, yeah? Okay, here we go. I will go first, and then you go second. We will take turns. So I will go first, and then I'm gonna cover the Pit, the, I'm going to cover the sentence, and then you say the sentence, all right? So here we go. Is this really happening, or is this a dream? Now it's your turn. Please say the sentence. Is this really happening, or is this a dream? Is this really happening or is this a dream? We didn't want this to happen. <laughs> a dream for sure, huh, Helga? For sure a dream. We didn't want this to happen. We didn't want this to happen. I know, Lolly. Ugh, angry. It's a dream. It's always a dream. Why can't it be reality? Why is it a dream? <laughs> I, me too, Lolly. I think the same thing. Okay, here we go. I can't see what's happening. 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 Please fill me in on what's been happening. Please fill me in on what's been happening. Please fill me in on what's been happening. That's right, Tomas. Too many tall people standing. <laughs> Accidents like this happen all the time. Accidents like this happen all the time. Accidents like this happen all the time. It happened a few minutes ago. It happened a few minutes ago. It happened a few minutes ago. Yeah, sprained my ankle. Yeah, he sprained his ankle. That's right. I wish it had never happened. I wish it had never happened. I wish it had never happened.
How on earth did this happen? 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 <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. All right, that was on your own. All right, we took turns. You did it by yourself. These first the first two steps, we did it together. But this third step, we took turns, right? I said the sentence, you said the sentence. All right, so that is now done. So now is quiz. Now it's time for the quiz. So what I will do, okay, hold on a second. My computer has been kind of acting weird. Okay, um, I'm gonna shuffle the cards and then we're gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna choose three cards for the quiz. So I'm gonna shuffle the cards so we don't know which card we are going, we don't know which three cards for the quiz, right? So we won't know the three cards for the quiz. So it's random. We're shuffling because the three cards will be random, unpredictable. Here we go, unpredictable. We won't know which ones we're going to practice for the quiz because we're shuffling. Okay, I will stop right now. Okay, it's random, that's right. Life is random. Some people get good luck, some people get bad luck. It is random, for sure. Right? Who will your parents be? Will you be born in France? Will you be born in America? Will you be born in Japan? It's random. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number one. You write the sentence in the chat. What is the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. What is the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Sleepwalker is on the board. She says, it happened a few minutes ago. Helga, it happened a few minutes ago. Marion, it happened a few minutes ago. Fonda, it happened a few minutes ago. Lolly, it happened a few minutes ago. Fabricio, it happened a few minutes ago. Uh, Mabush. Shams, uh, let's see, Manome, it happened a few minutes ago, Tetsuro, good, Jaco, okay, good, Mabube, Mabube, okay, yes, Tamas, yes, Diamond, Marcos, Sunshine, Okay, yes, you guys got it. It happened a few minutes ago. Okay, here we go. Card number two for the quiz. Please write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. What is the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? What is the sentence? Okay, Helga is on the board. Number two, Lolly. Okay, how on earth did it happen, Lolly? How on earth did this happen? Okay, Mabube. I. Uh, Oh, really? <laughs> I never pronounce people's names correctly. Mabube. All right, I'm happy. 
<laughs> that never happens. <laughs> yes, we're using real English right now. Uh, Mabube, that never happens. <laughs> I never pronounce people's names correctly. I never do that. It never happens. How on earth did it happen? <laughs> How on earth did it happen? I got it right. That never happens. How did that happen? Wow, I'm very surprised. <laughs> I'm very, very surprised. Yeah, well, sometimes, sometimes you win. <laughs> sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. Okay, good. How on earth did I get his name correct? How on earth did this happen? Okay, good, good, good. All right. <laughs> wow, I surprised myself. I, I, I'm ups and downs. That's right. <laughs> it never happens, but it did today. All right. I'm very, I'm very happy because I, I said someone's name correctly. So that's one thing, right? So I can't hear, right? If, if we were face to face, you can say, you could introduce yourself and I could hear how to pronounce your name, but I can only read your name. And so many times it's difficult for me to um, know what your name is, you know, how, it, how to pronounce your name. Okay, here we go. Card number three. <laughs> here we go. Number three, what is the sentence? What is the sentence? Thank you, Sleepwalker. Now, Sleepwalker, you've told me your name before, and I forgot, I'm sorry, but you don't have a difficult name. Sleepwalker, you don't have a difficult name. Oh, Mabu Bay, thank you so much. Mwah. I appreciate your kind support. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, Sleepwalker, please fill me on what... Okay, not quite, Sleepwalker. Helga, please fill me in on what's been happening. How on earth? No, no. How on earth... Did this happen? How, how on earth happened this? No. Okay, dang, please fill me in on what's been happening. Lolly, please fill me in on what's been happening. Lena, that's right, Lena. Okay, so Lena is not a very difficult name. <laughs> many um, sleepwalker or Lena, many people have difficult names to pronounce. But Lena is not difficult. And I'm going to try to remember, okay? Lena, Lena, Lena. I'll, I'm, I'm going to try to remember what I'm going to do. Lena, I'm going to write down your name. So the next time... Okay, I wrote your name, Lena. So I want to remember your name. I, but I, I like Sleepwalker. That's a cool name. I like your... I like your um, your avatar. I like your online name. Sleepwalker, that's a nice name. That's a cool name. Sleepwalker. Marcos, please fill me please fill me in on what's been happening. Good Marcos. Jaco. Yes. Marion. Yes. Tetsuro. Yes. Fabricio, please fill me in on what's been happening. Okay, very good everyone. Thank you, Maya. You're very kind. See, all of you are very kind to me. So I appreciate it. Even though I make many mistakes, I mispronounce your names quite often. So I appreciate you guys are still here. You are still supporting me. So I really, that means a lot. I appreciate that. Oh, no, Manome. I forgot the poll again. I always do that. I will. We will do this now because we are now finished with the quiz, so we will do the poll now, okay? I'm sorry, I always 
forget about the pool. Here we go. And the answer is, or the sentence is, please fill me in on what's been happening. Please fill me in on what's been happening. Okay, good, good, good. All right, well, that was, that was the quiz. We did it, yeah, you did it. All right, that was dictation cards. Now the poll is, we're using happen for the poll, okay? So let's look at the poll. The, at the top of the chat in the blue box, there is a poll, let's check it out. Here we go, 110 people voted, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Okay, I want you to um, start the sentence, right? So this time, you're gonna start the sentence and it happens a lot to me, happens a lot to me. So you're going to have um, four choices, right? So we have winning happens a lot to me, losing things happens a lot to me, um, getting cheated happens a lot to me, none of the above, none of the above. Okay, so the number one, number one choice, most popular, 40%, that is winning happens a lot to me. Oh, so we have lots of winners, nice, nice. Winning is better than losing. <laughs> so very good, so that's the number one choice. Winning happens a lot to me. Number two, losing things happens a lot to me. Oh no, so like losing car keys, losing wallets, losing money, losing uh, phone numbers, losing business cards, let's see, losing books, uh, losing homework, <laughs> losing, uh, what else, losing paperwork, uh, losing, you know, things. <laughs> so that, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I need water, water, water. So that was the number two. So we have winning and losing right there. Winning's number one. Number two is losing. Losing my head. I lose my head too, Fabrizio, more than I like to. And then getting cheated. Okay, that's 13%. That's the lowest. So that's good. Getting cheated, that is not good. Getting cheated means someone takes advantage of you, right? So maybe you buy, it could be a company. A company can cheat you, right? So you buy something and it doesn't work. And so you're, you know, you spent money on something and it doesn't work. And so that's being cheated. Also, uh, so companies can cheat you, right? By selling you something bad. Also, um, people can cheat you, right? So they might trick you, say, oh, um, can you, or uh, um, here, I will hold that for you. Oh, thank you very much. Like, let's say your, your hands are, you have lots of bags and, and you know, you got, you're carrying books and, and things like that. And someone goes, oh, I'll give you a hand. Okay, thank you so much. And you give them like, you know, you give them your book or your bag and they run away. Oh, they cheated, they stole from me, they cheated. Um, and then none of the above. So winning never happens, losing things never happens, getting cheated never happens, so none of the above. And that was 17%, so that was the third choice. So, okay, that's good everyone, thank you so much. Oh, sweet Lana, how you doing? Oh no, sweet Lana was in the hospital. I was sick with COVID-19 but feel better now, I really miss you all. Oh, sweet Lana, Mwah. oh no, you were in the hospital, that's terrible, but I'm happy you are now better. Yay, sweet Lana's better. But that must have been terrible for you, having to be in the hospital, I feel. So, sweet Lana, that's terrible, you got sick, but you're, you're, you're better now, so I'm happy. Oh no, i losing my own experience. Pooja, what do you mean? <laughs> okay. Yeah, me too, Rad. Oh, Radu's here. Radu, how you doing? Mwah, Radu's in the house, yay. 
Radu, long time no see. You haven't been here for a few weeks, Radu. Radu says, I'm glad you're feeling better, sweet Lana. Yes, we all feel that way, sweet Lana. A big kiss for you. Okay, well, let's go to our next activity. You know what that is? It's called Lolly's Revenge. Yes, it is. It's a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. Please say hello to Joe. Hello, Joe. Please say hello to Sue. Hello, Sue. When you see this, Joe is talking. When you see this, Sue is talking. Okay, so Lolly's Revenge. Like, like the dictation cards, we have a few steps. We have four steps. And this is activity number, activity number five, Lolly's Revenge. Okay, step one is the conversation. Step two, questions and answers. Step three, reading. Step four, shadowing. Okay, so here we had dictation. There's no dictation. Here we have shadowing, and we have shadowing again. On your own, no on your own, and a quiz, no quiz. So we're going to listen to a conversation. I'm going to ask you questions about the conversation. Then we will read the conversation together. And then we will practice saying the conversation. So lots of good practice for you, yeah? So we have lots of practice for you. Lots of English speaking practice for you. Okay, here we go. Let's start, yeah? So here's the conversation. This is Joe, this is Sue. Joe is first, here we go. Sue, have you happened to see the newspaper? I last saw it in the bathroom. Thanks. Do you know what happened yesterday? No, what? There was big trouble happening at City Hall. What happened? The mayor was caught stealing from the city. I never did like that guy. The newspaper said it happened more than once. He's a crook. Okay, here we go one more time. Sue, have you happened to see the newspaper? I last saw it in the bathroom. Thanks. Do you know what happened yesterday? No, what? There was big trouble happening at City Hall. What happened? The mayor was caught stealing from the city. I never did like that guy. The, new, the newspaper said it happened more than once. He's a crook. Oh, okay, Mabu Bay. Okay, hello. Oh no. Uh, Hazel uh, Fari Fariba. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay, good, good. Happy you are here joining us, uh, Mabu Bay students. Nice. Okay, Lolly says, Last time, more slowly, more slowly, please, Mark. Okay, here we go. Last time, and I will read it slower, okay? Thank you, Miley. Okay, here we go. Last time, slowly. Here we go. This is Joe. Sue, have you happened to see the newspaper? I last saw it in the bathroom. 
Thanks. Do you know what happened yesterday? No, what? There was big trouble happening at City Hall. What happened? The mayor was caught stealing from the city. I never did like that guy. The newspaper said it happened more than once. He's a crook. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so that. <laughs> thank you, Mabube. Okay, that was the conversation. Now it's for. Now it's time for questions. Okay, Q and A, questions and answers. I'm going to ask you a question about the conversation, and you're going to tell me the answer. Here we go. Question number one. What is Joe looking for? What is Joe looking for? What is Joe looking for? Question number one. What is Joe looking for? Oh, Helga. So you say raven in Ukrainian. He's a raven. Ah, interesting. Okay, question number one, what is Joe looking for? Helga's on the board. Joe is looking for the newspaper. Uh, Fabricio, he's looking for the newspaper. Mitra, newspaper. Sleepwalker, he is looking for a newspaper. Tomas, um, let's see. Yes, Lolly, his newspaper. Joe is looking for the newspaper. Tetsuro, he is looking for the newspaper. Manome, Joe is looking for a newspaper. Jaco, Joe is looking for a newspaper. Yes, Fonda, Sweet Lana, Joe is looking for a newspaper. Yes, very good. Okay, no problem. Here we go. Question number two. Question. Yes, dang. Joe is looking for a newspaper. Good. Here we go. Question number two. Yeah, Marion? That's right, Candy. Very good. All right, Diamond. Yes. Okay, here we go. Question number two. Question. Yes, Marcos. Very good, Marcos. He's looking for a newspaper. Okay, here we go. Question number two. Where was the newspaper? Where was the newspaper? Where was the newspaper. Yes, very good, Yes. Where was the newspaper? Where was the newspaper? Okay, Helga is on the board. It was in the bathroom. Radu, the newspaper was in the bathroom. Lolly in the bathroom, sleepwalker. Sue had seen it in the bathroom. So Sue had seen it. Okay, sleepwalker had seen it. Fabricio, the newspaper was in the bathroom. Dua in the bathroom. Tetsuro, it was in the bathroom. Jaco, the bathroom. Yasin, it's in the bathroom. Yes, Marion. Tomas, it was in the bathroom. Hey, Michelle, how you doing? Sweet Lana, in the bathroom. Candy, in the bathroom. Okay, no problem. Yeah, Sue had seen it in the bathroom, Sleepwalker. Or Lena. I'm going to start calling you Lena, okay? Lena. Okay. Yeah, it's very good. Man o May. Okay, no problem, everyone. You got it. Okay, number three. Number three. What happened yesterday? Yes, Marcos. Question number three. What happened yesterday? Okay, Nina. Mwah. Thank you. Okay, three. What happened yesterday? Mmm. Dua. There was big trouble happening at City Hall. Michelle, yes, the newspaper in the toilet. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Gamey. The mayor was in big trouble. 
Lolly, the mayor was caught stealing from the city. Fabricio, there was, there was trouble. A trouble, we don't say a trouble, just trouble. There was trouble in the city hall. Very good. Radu, the mayor tried to steal from the city. Helga, there was big trouble happening at city hall. Yasin, very big trouble in the city hall. Sleepwalker, the mayor was caught stealing from the city. Big trouble. Tomas, the mayor did some bad things. All right, Diamond, mayor was stealing. Uh, Marion, there was big trouble happening at City Hall. Marcos, yesterday, big trouble happened in City Hall. Yeah, so we don't need a uh, yesterday. Big trouble happened in City Hall. Tetsuro, there was big trouble happening at City Hall. Big trouble, says Candy. Manome, there was, uh, there's no ah. Uh, there was big trouble happening in City Hall. Jaco, there was big trouble happening at City Hall. Very good. Okay, that was number four. Number five. Number, no, number four. Question, there's only four questions. This is question number four. Okay, um, hold on. Uh, Mabu Bay, we're having a lot of trouble with the new computer. Oh, sorry to hear that. I don't like computer trouble. No, no, no. That's big trouble, yeah. Okay, here we go. Number four. What did Sue say about the mayor? What did Sue say about the mayor? Tomas, a bad thing, some bad things. Um, yeah, okay, so a bad thing happened. Yep, you could do that. Some bad things. Yep, that's good, Tomas, yes. Okay, number four. What did Sue say about the mayor? Okay, oh. Let's see, number four, he is a crook. Lolly, he's a crook. Samuel, big trouble. Dua, he is a crook. Fabricio, he never, she never liked this guy, okay? Helga, she said she never liked that guy. Michelle, it was very crowded, okay. Um, Marcos, Marcos, the mayor was caught stealing from the city. Uh, Tetsuro, she said he is a crook. Tomas, she said she never liked that man. Fabricio, she said she never liked that man. Fab, uh, or no, 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 that was, that was Tomas. Fabricio, she didn't trust him, good. Okay, yes, and she, she said, I don't know what's happening, okay? Marion, uh, the mayor is a crook. I don't, oh, crook is a, is a thief. A crook is a thief. So they steal, a crook steals from people or like, for example, the mayor stole from the city hall. So that, that's, you know, taxpayers' money, right? So he stole from everyone, right? Because everyone pays taxes to the city, and so the mayor took that money. So he's a crook. Sweet. Oh, okay. Crook is a new word for sweet Lana. Okay, good. Michelle, a person who is dishonest or a criminal. Yes, Michelle. Very good. Okay, yep, those are the four questions, and you guys did it, so let's mark it off as complete. Now, let's read the conversation together. Yeah, a crook equals a thief, that's right. Okay, so let's look at the conversation. Let's read the conversation together. <clears throat> I will hold it up so we can see it together. Here we go. Joe is first. Sue. 
Have you happened to see the newspaper? I last saw it in the bathroom. Thanks. Do you know what happened yesterday? No, what? There was big trouble happening at City Hall. What happened? The mayor was caught stealing from the city. I never did like that guy. The newspaper said it happened more than once. He's a crook. Okay, let's do it again. Here we go, one more time. Sue, have you happened to see the newspaper? I last saw it in the news. Ugh, I last saw it in the bathroom. Thanks. Do you know what happened yesterday? No, what? There was big trouble happening at City Hall. What happened? The mayor was caught stealing from the city. I never did like that guy. The newspaper said it happened more than once. He's a crook. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so that was the reading. Okay. Now it's time to shadow. It is time to say the conversation, okay? Are you ready? This is speaking practice, all right? So let's practice. Oh, Mayor um, Diamond Paint. Mayor is the person in charge of the city. So, for example, you're welcome, Samuel. Um, for example, the president, let's say the president of the United States is, um, <laughs> the president of the United States is Joe Biden. He's the president, right? He's in charge of the country. The mayor is the, is, um, the head of a city. So Joe Biden is head of the country. And for example, I think the mayor of Los Angeles is, um, is uh, what's it, Getty, something Getty. Um, oh, uh, Getty, something Getty. So, so the mayor is a head, is the head of a city. Yeah, the mayor leads the city. Good, good, good. Thank you, Tomas. A mayor leads the city. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, now um, it's time. Eric Garcetti. Thank you, Fabricio. Eric Garcetti. <laughs> so, Fabricio lives in Brazil, but he knows. Okay, thank you, Eric Garcetti. That's right. So, thank you for your help. Thank you so much. I knew it was Getty something. Garcetti. <laughs> oh, good, good. Uh, oh, thank, thank you so much, Michelle. Yeah. So I, at, I work at two universities and I teach conversation like this. So with my university students, we do the same thing. So um, we practice. So my students practice speaking English, right? So we do activities for... Um, speaking practice yeah so um, this is what we do at my university we practice speaking okay Radu okay uh, is the end of one hour or just a few minutes um, just a few minutes so we started Radu um, at five so it's almost two hours so we got five more we got a few more minutes so we're almost finished Radu almost finished Okay, here we go. Let's now. Okay, wait. Okay, I thought that Sue. Okay, here we go. Maya. So I, I thought that Sue meant that she never acted like their mayor by saying, I never did like this guy. Okay, yeah, no problem, Maya. Yeah. So it's like, so. At the beginning, maybe when he was, okay, so Maya, maybe um, the mayor, when he was elected, she didn't like him, right? Maybe she always thought, oh, there's something about him I don't like. And now she, she goes, yep, I knew it. I never liked that guy. I knew it from the beginning. 
when I saw him for the first time, I didn't like him, right? First impression. So Maya, Sue's first impression was bad for the mayor. And then after what he did, she, it confirmed her like, oh, I, she was correct, right? I never liked that guy. Okay, here we go. Okay, Radu, yeah, so we started, um, he said hello. So we, we um, started at, we started two hours ago, Radu. So, so we always start at five in Jap you know, Japan time. Okay, here we go. It's time to shadow. Let's practice saying the conversation. Here we go. Sue, have you happened to see the newspaper? 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 I last saw it in the bathroom. I last saw it in the bathroom. Hmm. I last saw it in the bathroom. Thanks. Do you know what happened yesterday? Do you know what happened yesterday? Do you know what happened yesterday? No, what? No, what? No, what? There was big trouble happening at City Hall. There was big trouble happening at City Hall. There was big trouble happening at City Hall. What happened? What happened? What happened? The mayor was caught stealing from the city. The mayor was caught stealing from the city. The mayor was caught stealing from the city. I never did like that guy. I never did like that guy. I never did like that guy. The newspaper said it happened more than once. The newspaper said it happened more than once. The newspaper said it happened more than once. He's a crook. He's a crook. He's a crook. Okay, good, good. Okay, that was shadowing. Now let's look at it one more time just to make sure we have everything. Okay, Joe says, Sue, have you happened to see the newspaper? I last saw it in the bathroom. Thanks. Do you know what happened yesterday? No, what? There was big trouble happening at City Hall. What happened? The mayor was caught stealing from the city. I never did like that guy. The newspaper said it happened more than once. He's a crook. Okay, he got caught. That means they, they got him. They, he got caught stealing. So, like he was found out, right? So maybe, you know, he's like stealing, right? And nobody's looking, right? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. And he's taking money, right? He's putting it in his pocket. Taking the money, putting it in his pocket. No one, no one can see. No one knows. But one day... As he's stealing, somebody sees, oh, you're stealing money. I caught you. I can see you. I, I know you are stealing. I took a picture. I took, I took a, a, a video. I can see you are stealing. You are caught. Ha, Marcos, like Nixon, I'm not a crook. <laughs> That's right, Marcos. We're, we're old guys, Marcos, and we, um, Nixon, I'm not a crook, right? That's his famous, he says, I'm not a crook. Yeah, yeah, good, Marcos. Yeah, 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 good one. Okay, Michelle, I have a question. How do I become a teacher except my private school for English language? Uh, you, you have to get a job. <laughs> you, so you need to apply at a university and you need to um, have some publications and it helps to know people, other like the heads of the department, 
And um, yeah, and so you need to um, apply. You need to um, have a resume. Okay, yeah, Watergate scandal. That was Nixon. Okay. Good job, everybody. Yeah, this, okay, good. How, okay, all right. Um, okay, well, I'm looking at the clock. We have been here for two hours, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. All right, well, um, we're, we, we did it. Yeah, here, here are, we did all the activities today. And um, you've been here with me, and so I really appreciate it. Mwah. Appreciate your guys' very, very kind support. Oh, um, Mabube, you're very welcome. And please say hello to your students for me. Thank you for, um, thank you for um, teaching your students, right? So we are English teachers, and we work hard. Yes, Mabube, yes, yes. But we do a great service, right? We help people, and um, that is, we have a very um, satisfying job. Yes, we are English teachers, and we have a very satisfying job. Okay, I will be back. Yes, Sonara, thank you. Mwah. I will be back on Friday. Yes, Friday, that will be November 12th. So please come back November 12th. However, different time. I will be here at 10 a.m., 10 a.m. so that um, please check the descriptions below for times. So I live in Japan. So when I say 10 a.m. Friday, that is Japan time. So if you if you're not sure, please Google Japan 10 a.m. and you're you're where you live, and you will see the time difference. So um, please come back and see me. Yes, Radu. Christmas is around the corner. Christmas is around the corner. Yes, it is. No, Radu, you change times. I don't. Japan, we don't change the clock, Radu. So in Japan, we, we don't change the clock. You're in Canada. You guys do the, the spring forward, fall back kind of. You change the clock. I don't. Here in Japan, we don't change the time. So Radu, you changed the time. I didn't. Yeah, so Japan doesn't change. So um, like in California, we do the, the, the uh, time change. But here in Japan, we do not do that. Yesen, thank you. You're welcome, Yesen. Okay, let's say goodbye together. And um, yeah, thank you everyone again. You guys are always very, very kind to me. I really, really appreciate it. Mwah. Thank you, Green Team. Yes, the Green Team. You are supporters. You are number one. Thank you, Green Team. Yes, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. You're welcome, Miley. You are very welcome. Okay, Lolly. Yeah, Japan doesn't change the time. That's right, um, Lolly. We, we don't do that here. I'm not sure why but we don't. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it gets dark very early now here in Japan. Okay. Let's, yep, Sonara, bye-bye. Thank you, Fabricio, thank you so much. Lolly, always thank you. Uh, Dina, Dina, thank you, Dina. Okay, Radu, thank you. I hope to see you Friday, Radu. Hope to see you on Friday, dang. Thank you so much, Tetsuro. Oh, um, that is AM. So diamond, it, diamond paint, it's 10 AM Friday. So today, on Tuesday, it's 5 PM. On Friday, it's 10 AM. Also Saturday, 10 AM. Marcos, peace out, buddy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Radu. Appreciate it, buddy. Okay, and I'm sure, Radu, it's getting very cold where you are. Thank you again, Marcos. You're very kind to me. Appreciate it. Okay, it's time to say goodbye. Let's count down together. 
Oh, my next live stream is Friday, 10 a.m. Look in the descriptions every Tuesday, every Friday, every Saturday. I am here. So just look at the descriptions. You can see the time. It's there. It's there for sure. <laughs> okay, Corey, thank you so much. Okay, I have to say goodbye. So let's say, let's count down and say goodbye together. All right, let's do it together. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thanks so much. I will see you Friday, 10 a.m. Have a good week. Today's Tuesday. Um, have a good Wednesday. Have a good Thursday. And I will see you on Friday. Mwah. Thanks so much. Let's be like a monk. Let's pray for world peace. Let's, wait, let's, let's cook, clean, and pray for world peace. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Bye. Take it easy. Bye.